So I have to take this banjo fitting and I'm doing an update to a vehicle where I'm upgrading fuel lines, doing some nice work to this thing. It's a diesel and I have to take this fitting then, this fitting and combine it to make this fitting. So I'm gonna go through those steps. So I made this round. So that measures half inch almost dead on. This hole here is a lot smaller than that. I'm gonna machine it off, drill it out, and I'm gonna make it so that these fit together. I'll show you. So parted that off and now this, that tube is measures half inch. This is just a half inch bit. I'm gonna slow the lathe down so that we get a nice cut out of it. And I am going to set it up where I'm going in about a half inch cause we're silver soldering today. And uh, yeah, ready to go. So I took and took a cheap body hammer, made that round, and then I took it to the sandblaster, sandblasted it, and I am just gonna take an emery this surface up a little bit, make sure it's nice and clean, looks good. So, pretty, pretty. So we have this half inch tube, it was kind of a little bit oval and we have this fitting, but they actually are fitting together after that. But uh, even when you do this with this tube, 
like the one that I did that's on the bench right there. And this, it is a really tight fit, which is exactly what we want. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna stick this together. I'll measure it for sure. This is a half inch hole I drilled and I'll measure half inch here and I'll tap it in until it hits there. And then we'll go for silver solder. So again, just using a real junky body hammer block of wood so I don't damage anything. So it went into the mark, went in real nice. So this is my silver solder supplies. You can get them from any welding shop. I just got it from my local welding shop. Use it lots. Um, the paste is really hard. You have to dilute it with water. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna dilute it, get a little bit of paste going in here. We'll put some uh, the solder paste on here or the flux is what it is. And we'll also put some flux on the wire and then heat it up with a welding tip and uh, just solder away. You can't use propane for this. It's an oxyacetylene welding tip to get the temperature you need. So I've made this paste. So the flux paste. I just use the wire to mix it. Little chunky, whatever, but it'll be fine. So on a pretty cold, smooth flame, and it's really hard to see without a filter, the neutral flame. Want to heat this up nice and even. So the flux is getting really fluid now. I know I can add my silver soon. So. I got lots of silver in between the two. Uh, the capillary action just sucks that silver solder in. It sucks the flux in, everything. And uh, we'll just let that cool down and give it a blast. Here's the fitting after it's blasted. And this uh, silver solder is actually, you can see they used it on the factory to put that stub into the banjo fitting. And uh, silver solder, um, it can be up to 70,000 PSI tensile strength. So this is usually what hydraulic fittings and, and high pressure fittings are made out of. Um, it'll actually absorb uh, expansion, contraction, shock loads a lot better than uh, potentially a weld that is um, just in the corner. So if you had a weld around here, it would be weaker because this goes in a half inch and that solder is all the way through. It gets pulled in through what's called capillary action. So I just took and spun the sealing surface up on the lathe and what these fittings are gonna allow is I can actually get away from uh, the original uh, hose clamp and snap fittings 
for this fuel system as well on the tranny cooler lines and uh, um, yeah, any other fittings that on these vehicles were a problem that I can actually put a proper AM fitting on. So anyways, another handful of fittings to build. Mm -hmm.